So you're a beginner snowboarder and you want to advance, you want to become an intermediate rider, ride blues or blacks as quick as possible. Well, this is the video that's going to help you do that. And we're going to start by talking about snowboard gear. It's time to get off the rentals. If you're a beginner snowboarder and you want to get better at snowboarding, you know, getting your own gear is important. Get quality gear, not saying rental gear isn't quality. It's just having a piece of equipment that's familiar to you. The more you ride a snowboard, you become familiar with it. So when you get back on the mountain, it's not, man, these boots feel weird. The snowboard feels weird and I still got to learn how to make turns all fluid it's all like I know what these bindings feel like when I strap in I know how those board rides when I get on it having a board binding setup for you the type of riding you want to do is super important now if you don't know what gear to get I got all my gear linked in the description you can start there and then you know find something that might fit your needs better yeah nice to meet you, man. What's I'm up? Chris. Nice to meet you Chris yeah. now before we jump on the run and talk about turns let's talk about our body position if we're a beginner rider there's a good chance we're pretty scared and, and we're doing some bad habits first one being is we're bending over at our waist we're snowboarding kind of like in this position right here because we're close to the ground you know we're less likely to catch that heel side edge if I, can, if I can lean over touch the ground or i can you know i'm here when i'm heel sliding we want to stand up now when we stand up we don't want to be scared and leaning way far back and with our shoulder really open and be in this position this is a really awkward bad position that makes it really easy for my tail to slip out underneath me and I fall into my butt. We want to be in what we call a stacked body position. Shoulders over knees over toes, bend in our knees, not super locked legs. That's going to make us make really weird turns. And if we hit any chatter, we're going to fall out. <laughs> bend in our knees, stacked position when we're making our toe side turns. The other thing too is when we're in this stacked position, when we go to our edges, we're gonna engage more of the edge than if I'm leaning back and trying to get into my edge. The front of my board's not gonna bite as hard because I'm leaning back. But if I'm stacked, I can then get the front of my board to grip and to make those turns better and faster. Okay, so now that we know what body position to be in, let's talk about our turns, making some turns. So more likely as a beginner, you know, we can go from our heels, into our toe side edge. We're kind of looking like this. If you're not looking like that, some tips. If I'm starting the, the turn, I'm going to point down the fall line, be on my edge. I'm on my heels. I've got bend in my knees. I'm slightly sitting back. If I want to go to my toes, I'm going to push that front foot down. It's going to allow me to start going here. Now I've got equal pressure on my toes. I'm going to pick my front foot up. And that's gonna get me to start the heel side turn. And that's how you're gonna start getting and linking those S turns. So once we start linking those S turns to kind of get to more of the intermediate level, we want to start pushing the nose of the board down the mountain more. So what I'm talking about is, so if I'm on my heel side edge and I'm learning, you know, I'm kind of crossing the run, going a nice slow space. I'm gonna push my toe down, my front toe, and then I'm gonna go across. But as I get better, I'm gonna make those turns or going across more shallow, I'm going to be going more straight down the mountain. As I'm going more straight down the mountain, I'm going to be going a lot faster. So speed management is super important as well. You can always take more speed off by going across the run. You know, if I want to slow down, I go across the run. I'm going to slow down. If I want to speed up, I put my nose down the mountain, down the fall line, and I'm going to start going a lot faster. Now I just mentioned fall line and it's super important that we talk about this. But before I talk to you about fall line, I do want to mention that if you snag an evolution sticker, it can also possibly help you go from beginner to intermediate pretty quick. Obviously that's a joke, but all the stickers and all of our merch guys is in the description it does support the dream. Okay, fall line. So what the fall line of the mountain is, is the direction in which the mountain is going down. So if I was to take this ball, and put it on the snow, the way the ball is just naturally gonna go because of gravity is our fall line. So if I take this ball and I put it on the snow, it's gonna start rolling and this is the natural fall line of the slope. So if you, as a snowboarder, when we put our snowboard down the mountain, it's gonna go with the fall line, but we can use the edges of our snowboard to fight against that because the fall line could be trying to take us into the trees or something like that. So we gotta know what the fall line of the mountain is doing. So now that we understand fall line, how to ride the mountain, we need to talk about our vision, not only for people around us and what's going on, but for reading the mountain and everything like that. And we're in the best part of the mountain for this because it's about to get really weird and awkward over here. So let's go talk about it. So first off, there's no one around me, so I know I can I can just start riding. My filmer is good. We don't have to worry about people. But as a, a beginner snowboarder, you know, you kind of more focus on yourself. 
as you become an intermediate rider, it's your job to start paying attention for other beginners or other people on the mountain. So you need to be looking around and like, oh, that's a beginner snowboarder. Let me give them some space. You know, so you're staying away from people on the run, giving them two to three tree lengths apart, see what's going on. So now I'm about to roll up onto a really steep part of the run. So as an intermediate rider, if I never rode this before, I'd be like, oh man, this is steep. But then I need to be looking ahead. And as I look ahead, I see a really flat, it's almost up part of the run. So now I need to know, I need to carry my speed down this hill so I can make it past the flat spot so I'm not kicking or unstrapping or walking out of this flat spot. So yes, it's important that you can ride this confidently. You know, it's steep, it's gnarly. You know, I might have to be going a little slow in these sections, but at a certain point, I gotta know, I gotta keep my speed, I gotta turn it up so I can get past this long, slow section of the mountain. I made it because I, I knew that was happening. Another thing that's important with reading the mountain is we got to make sure what we're riding isn't pulling us into trees and we're fighting the fall line or going against it so we can stay on the main run and not get pulled into junk that we don't want. So a good example is we're going to go over this roll right here and now the fall line goes into these trees so I got to fight the fall line to go back towards the run. So always reading the mountain making sure you're not going to roll up on something that's just going to give you a bunch of air Whoa. and there's not people around you you're not going to run into someone someone's not going to run into you this allows you to start learning jumps and tricks or really carving the board you have to worry about other people because you can already make sure your area is clear. Now the last thing I'm going to say if you want to go from beginner to an intermediate snowboarder as quick as possible is you got to show up to the mountain with intention. First off, the more you snowboard, the better you're going to get. So the more you can come out, the better you're going to get snowboarding. Second, you know, when you come out, don't just get content with like, oh, I'm going to drink some beers and I'm just going to ride runs and do the same thing, the same thing, the same thing. If you want to get better, come out and be like, hey, am I bending at my waist? Am I leaning back weird? Okay, I need to fix that. So on the run, think about it with intention, trying to get better at snowboarding. You know, am I taking really wide turns or am I actually putting the snowboard down the fall line and gaining a lot of speed? And then how do I get out of that without, you know, slamming on the brakes and shattering out? Can I make fluid, sweet, nice turns to slow down on top of then eventually just put on the brakes. So show up with intention, have fun while you're snowboarding, and as always, Seamount Guys, thank you so much for shredding with me today, and as always, thanks for watching, keep evolving, we'll see you guys tomorrow in another video. Stay on the channel, we do stuff like this. Damn!